Hi, this is George from Upfish, your marketing automation pro. Today, I'm gonna to run you through my corporate business page of LinkedIn social engagement outreach automation. Essentially, what this will do is every time you make a post on your business LinkedIn page, it will find anybody who comments or likes on it, find their details, construct unique personalized email message for them, and then enroll them in an outbound campaign. Now, the big advantage of this is threefold. Number one, you're talking to people who already know about your company. These are people who are liking and commenting on your business page, so they're already quite warm. That initial hurdle of starting a conversation has been removed, so it's a great pool of people to get in contact with. The other advantage is because you know what it is they're commenting on and what it is that they've particularly engaged with, this uh, subject matter, their interest, it means you can construct emails at mass that are hyper-personalized and hyper-relevant to that person. The third advantage is because we're using ChatGPT to create these emails, instead of sending 500 identical emails and running into deliverability problems and getting a flag to spam, each email will look personal and it will look well written and it will be most importantly unique so that it will go straight through to their inbox, ensuring that you'll start conversations with real people very easily. Now, the way it works is pretty simple. First, we set up a campaign in our Airtable and what this will do is it will take all of the details that the, basically the automation needs. So essentially it's, it's, it's the, the number of the company you run on LinkedIn. So when you run the LinkedIn uh, app here, it looks for the post or for the organization number. Here it's added in. But in actual fact, we, won't be, we, if, we, we will use a dynamic field from company search in Airtable. The reason for this is if you're running more than one page, instead of having to duplicate, triplicate, make four versions of this, you simply create four different campaigns in Airtable. And each time it runs, it will take that number and it will just be the same as before. Now, it finds the posts, as we can see here, based on the company search. And I ask for, the, ask for it to gather the 15 most recent posts. The reason for this is some people post multiple times a day, some people post maybe once a week. 15 posts for the most recent one, depending on how quickly you run it, ensures that it all runs pretty smoothly. Then it iterates all of the posts and runs it through a filter. The reason for this is we don't want posts that are posted on the same day to come up on our automation. It takes a couple of days for people to get done <laughs> commenting, engaging with your LinkedIn posts. So we set up a delay of, leg of minus three days here. This ensures that nothing more recent than three days ago comes in. We also cap that at 10 days. So basically there's a week's worth with a three day lag. Once these come in, we ask ChatGPT to summarize the post into just seven words. So if you imagine you have a huge, huge, huge post, it will basically just make it short. So when you send an email, it will say something along the lines of, I, you saw my post about NFTs in football, or you saw my post about how to streamline your HR processes, for example. It just makes it a little bit more catchier for an email. After that, the scenario breaks into three pieces. On the top row here, we start searching for comments. So based on all of the posts that we've identified, we ask LinkedIn to return us all of the people who commented on those posts. So if you imagine you have three posts, 10 comments each, this will return 30 people. We iterate those and we ask LinkedIn to find those people. What that means is the get comments will return basically a URM information. It's not very identifiable. This will return basically their vanity name, first name and last name. If that's not enough to enrich them, we ask get prospects to essentially say, who is this person? So get prospect will check out www.linkedin.com slash in slash vanity name, the information returned here. And it'll give us their first name, their last name, their email address, their full LinkedIn profile, the company they work for. Usually that's enough. Then we ask Airtable to see, does this person already exist? So we run a filtered search to see in our database here, our cold, warm, hot database, is this person already a prospect? The reason for this is, if you imagine here, you have someone who's enrolled on an outbound campaign. Now they've received a few emails from you, they've checked the website, they've gone onto a LinkedIn, they've liked a post. This person should not receive an automated cold email that introduces your company. You're already talking to them. So it's important you know this stuff, which is why our CRM has dynamic fields here to check, has this person been on the website? Have they engaged on LinkedIn? Have they been added to an ad list? Have they had an email sent? Uh, have they had a meeting set, this kind of stuff. If they do already exist, then instead it will send a message through Slack to your sales team to say, hey, uh, George Woodworth from Upfish, he commented on a post, there's already an opportunity, follow this up manually, see what he wants. If they don't exist, and this is when the interesting thing starts happening, we ask Apollo.io to enrich this information further, to give us more information about the person and more information about the company they work for. 
So we can get things like the industry, the size, uh, their founded year, uh, their LinkedIn page number, all of this stuff. Once we have that, it's pretty easy to ask ChatGPT to, um, to create an email. So my example here is I say, you are a marketing automation expert and person name, so let's imagine George Woodworth, a CEO from Upfish at www.upfish.co. Engage with your LinkedIn post about um, hiring people in Romania. Based on that info, rewrite this email. So they'll say, hey George, you're interacting with my post about hiring people in Romania, so I wanted to reach out personally. As the CEO of Upfish, this be willing, would this be something you'd be willing to talk about one-on-one? -on -one? This is a hyper simple email, but the brilliance of it is you can make it as complex as you want to be. Because we're using the API from ChatGPT, it can access real life web information. So if you've got certain conditions based on their industry of someone who works for or the type of product they might be interested in, you can create hyper, 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 hyper specific but logical processes here. Once that email's correct, once that email's made, we add the person to Airtable. So if they comment again, we know, okay, this person's commented more than once, more than twice, they visited a website, this is someone who we should follow up with. And then we add the email to Google Sheets. Now, the reason we don't directly send that email to reply.io is because we're relying on ChatGPT to be 100% effective all of the time, which isn't realistic at the moment. So instead, these emails go to Google Sheets and I'll address why later. Now, the second branch here, it's pretty much identical. This is for collecting likes. So you'll collect every like from the earlier LinkedIn post. You'll find the people who do it, enrich that information, check the Airtable to see if they already exist. If they don't, enrich more information, construct an email, put them in Airtable and put them to Google Sheets. Now, the Google Sheets, what happens is here, every time an email gets made, it goes to a Google Sheet where we can just have some brief overview of the person's company, the page they viewed, if you're using the web visitor outreach automation, or it will have the text of the LinkedIn post that they commented or liked on, if you're using the personal LinkedIn automation or this one, it'll give you their contact name, just enough to be able to check this message and see, does this make sense? Is the English good? Um, do I need to change anything? If you want to change something pretty simple, um, it only takes a few seconds. So again, big advantage here, instead of constructing manual emails for 100 people at a time, or one email if you find it difficult to write emails, can take a bit of a while. This one, you just need to go through it, make a few uh, changes based on your voice if you don't like the way the English is constructed. And then here, every time one of these messages gets added, it will be marked as status unapproved. Once you think it's good, you just change it to approved. And the next time the automation runs, it checks this Google Sheet, it looks for ones that are approved, it grabs their details from Airtable, so it gets their first name, their last name, the email, just as a triple check, it puts them on your outbound campaign. So it sends them to reply.io. The first email will be the email we've constructed here in the Google Sheet. And then you might wanna follow that up with a more generic second email. For example, if they've not opened it or replied, you might say, here's an ebook, here's an invitation to a webinar, here's a calendar link. Uh, using reply.io, you can also switch up the channels to send a LinkedIn message instead, which is good because you know they're active on LinkedIn. This is why you're reaching out to them. And then once it's in uh, the reply.io, the Google Sheet updates and it will mark it as done. So this way you can check, you can audit your results and say, all right, these people have all been added. This is done. You can set a filter here, for example, to say I, every morning when I check this or every week when I check this, I only want to see the ones that need to be approved. So the ones that are unapproved here. And just like that, at scale, you can reach out to everybody on autopilot who likes or comments on your posts, which is brilliant because if you're using, for example, my content creation automation, you can create these posts pretty much automatically without any extra effort. The people who comment and post on them, you're then reaching out to them with any effort. The results should be higher because you know what it is they're interested in. You know they already know about your company and that helps you create a perfect email for them to start a conversation. And in terms of deliverability, you, all of these emails are unique. It's not 500 identical emails, which will maybe you know, trigger a spam warning. So all of these emails will get delivered. And of course, you know they are active on LinkedIn, which gives you the option of following up on that channel too. So based on this, you should be expecting to basically significantly increase the amount of leads and warm conversations you start having. This automation is for sale on my Gumroad page. If you'd like to just plug and play, all you need to do is update the campaigns with your uh, um, organization number here and of course for apollo.io you need to add in your api key um, but once that's done it's all good to go if you need help setting something like this up or you need something more complicated or even less complicated please just get in contact and i'll see what i can do thank you